Good morning, guys. Welcome inside my green castle, which is currently a sauna. I did the rookie mistake of putting up my tent right where the sun is coming up because I wanted the best view over the Okavanga River. The cool thing by staying this close to the river was that I could hear the hippos grunt all night. <laughs> but today I have a plan that I want to go visit a very special and spiritual place in Botswana. Tsudilo Hills. It is one of the highest places in Botswana. It is also a historical place because uh, there are rock paintings that are 5,000 years old. Let's do it and I'll see you on the road. Butterflies. Wow. That's so cool. Hello goaties. Hello donkeys. Hello cowies. Hey doggy, don't freaking bite me, okay? No, don't bite me. This is a long straight road through Botswana. Look at this village, isn't that nice? What do we have here? Street vendor. Ooh, that's deep sand though. But I can stop here and just go and say hi. Yuppie street vendor. Hi! Do you have something to drink? No. No, okay. Yeah? 50. So I can take 10, please. Thank you. You want one? Is it your parents' shop? Yes, no. How old are you? I'm 13 years old. 13? Yes. Ah, no school today? We have school. Ah. Ah, so this is Xama. Sam oh, I can't say it. Samira. Really, it's just a difficult name. Mm, I just bought 10 pieces of chewing gum and I don't really like it. <laughs> Hello. It's uh, for the hills here, yeah. Todila. This road is awesome. Hey, donkey. Oh, you tied down, you poor soul. Where are you going? The village, Todila. Me too. Ah, this is Sandy. Okay, go, 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 go. This is such a cool part of the world, guys. It's just really in the middle of nowhere. It's Northwest Botswana. We're very close to the border to Namibia. And not far from that border is the border to Angola. Oh, I can imagine this road is quite messy when it rains. Slowly, the highest point in the Kalahari Desert, Sudilo Hills would appear in the horizon. Botswana is completely flat except for a few hills, Otsa Hills in the south and Sudilo Hills here in the northwestern corner of Botswana. For more than a hundred thousand years, people have come to this place. Not only would the hills provide shelter, water and food, it also had a huge spiritual and religious significance for the people. Hello! Where are you going? I just wanted to see the village. Here, here right there? Yeah. Oh, nice! <laughs> you live here? Oh, it's very beautiful. <laughs> uh, he likes motorcycle? Yeah. Yeah, you want to try and sit? Yeah. Yeah, yeah come. You want to try? No. Sure, come on. Oh, the tall guy, he just gets on. Oh, where are you from? I'm from Denmark. What? Denmark? It's a very small country. All the way up, up, up in the north. Yeah, I was here now for five weeks. Yes, it's very nice here. I love it. <laughs> but this boy, come on, you have to sit on the motorcycle. Oh, you for sure. Yes, come on, I, I help you. Oh, you are heavy. <laughs> yes, you hold here as well. Here, 
<laughs> Don't you have any cell phone? I do, but it's not charged. I can take cameras with you. Ah, okay, but we can take it with this one. Hold on. Say the language again. Sumbushu and Sisaro. Sumbushu. Sumbushu and Sisaro. And Sisawan. 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 Sun language. Yeah. Sun language. Sun language. So you are um, children of the Sun people. Yeah. Do you want to try to turn on the motorcycle? Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're so friendly. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> so how are you? So then now you can push this button. Just one. Really? Like, like this. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> if I want to go fast, I do this. And now you can push the red button. Do you push this one? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well done. Oh, you're heavy. <laughs> Hello, sir. Oh, just stay there. Okay, so I think this is the entrance. Wow, oh, sandy, 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 sandy. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is beautiful. With one of the highest concentrations of rock art in the world, the Dino Hills has been called the Louvre of the Desert. Over 4,500 paintings are preserved in this area of only 10 square kilometers of the Kalahari Desert. For this reason, the hills were declared a national monument in 1927 and in 2001 it was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So this is where the museum is. Oh wow, right here. All right, I'm here with Lopan. We are venturing out to a two and a half hour walk. Yeah, yeah. And what was the name of the trail? The Rhino Trail. The Rhino Trail. Yes. It starts here. Yeah. Then we go all the way around back to where we started. And how long have you been doing this? I'm born and raised here. Are you? Yeah, so we In used the village? to play around here. Oh, so, and so we, cool. we have that access of the place. So you've been playing here as a kid or? Yes. Before it was listed as the World Heritage Site, we used to come around as we were kids, right. climb around and uh -huh. know the whole site. You said to me before that there might be elephants up on the on the plateau. So this is the Ngoma plateau? Yeah, the Ngoma plateau. Yeah. Why would the elephants go up there? Actually, it's the tree. So we have marulas, we have mongongo. So all these trees, now it's their season. So the, the elephants would come up for those trees. And uh, any other animals up there? The yakulus are around. Snakes are hibernating. We can't see them. So mostly we'll see. I would say that maybe we might see kudus or elephants. Do you have in this area any wild cats or...? We have a leopard. Leopard. But that one is nocturnal. Actually in a day it's not that active. Well, let's hit that trail. Alright, already we see big paintings. Right up there. So Dilo Hills consist of four hills. The male, which is the highest. The female, the child and a smaller unnamed hill. Most of the rock art is on the female hill. So that's where Lupang and I was heading. We have around 4,500 paintings. 4,500 yeah. paintings that have been discovered. Yes. Okay, here we have the first ones. Wow. That's a good morning workout here. <laughs> this is our paintings that have been painted by the first modern humans, a tribe known as the Kung, Middle Stonish people. The Kung, and you the say Kung. it? Kung. It's a click. Oh. Kung, yeah. Kung. <laughs> Kung. Kung. Yeah. And that is why you have this exclamation mark that is to indicate that it that's comes with a, this click? Yeah, that's a, that's a click, yeah. Right. Yeah. Is that uh, part of your language? Actually, it's not my, okay. but my residence. Okay. So in the village, they there will talk the, like this? There the, the is, the is the descendant of yeah. the Kung, yeah. Of the Kung. And do you, you can talk this way? Yeah, I do. I can do you make mind. a sentence? Okay. Nakabum <laughs> Timoti. That's nice. That was completely wrong. So this <clears throat> paint is there been here for more than 3,000 years. 3,000 years? Yes. It's actually made of hematite, charcoal, calcrit, fats, urine, and the blood. So you said hematite? Yeah. Charcoal? charcoal yeah. Calcrit. Calcrit? Fats. 
fat, urine, urine and the blood. And blood. That That's what, what they were painting with. Years. And that, that combination is what makes the painting last this long. Exactly. The hematite and the carcrete oxidize and, and make the pictures to be like that. Actually, now we don't have these animals. Right. There's few of them that we have. But yeah, most there's of no them, rhinos, right? No rhinos, uh, no giraffes. So okay. we have like others that visit. Yeah. Just like elephants okay. and oryx. Because there's no more water. It used to be a lake that was 30 kilometers square wide in front of the hills. So oh, okay. that's why a lot of animals were here. Ah, so there used to be a lot of water there here. There used to be a lot of water. Oh, okay. so, so ever since the lake disappeared 10,000 years back, yeah. then the, the animals also split it off. Okay. Some went to Namibia, some went to the Delta. So we have rhino, yeah, and hearty you beast, and the oryx, oryx, three, three oryx, yeah, the head of a giraffe, yeah. and then you said a little female kudu right down yes, there. Yes. So down below, that's a wild dog and three steenbucks. Yeah, three steenbucks. And top right, three giraffes. Three giraffes. Left of the giraffes, that's a watok. Watok. Below the watok, that's an island. And below the island, there's two giraffes. Mm. The depiction of the paint is, is the human figures, <gasps> geometric circles, and animals. Right. Yeah. So we have red and white. So red have been painted by the Bushmen and white being painted by the, the Iron Age people, the okay. Bantu speaking people Bantu who speaking introduced people. the iron working tools around. Oh, okay. And the so two different there. tribes. Two different tribes have okay. existed here. And are they both called Sun people? No. These, these are the Inca question, we call them Sun, and these are the Bantu. Okay. So from Bantu, there's a Hampukushi, Herero, Galanga, different tribes. Okay, so that's not sun. Yeah, that's not sun. Yeah. Okay. And the cool. depiction of the paint is the red is for the wild animals. Okay. The white, the depiction is the domestic, the livestock, the donkeys. Is this the uh, marula fruit? Yes, that's the uh, marula look fruit. Look at this. We look, see the fruit long here. That's what the elephants come for. This is where we're going. <laughs> uh, it's quite steep. Is this it is on? quite the climb, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Wow, you're doing well. <laughs> <laughs> I paid him to say that. <laughs> so we even have water up here. Yeah. Actually, it's spring water. Oh, nice. this is beautiful. Yeah. You descend a little bit, or you can cross over that side. Okay. All right. You got a nice space for the hike. Eh? Eating. <laughs> right. Marilo. Marilo. Marilla. With a nice taste there. Eh? Yeah, it's good. Okay. Mm, it has a little bit of cinnamon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does. Mm. Ah, we but are panting. We, but before we <laughs> let's walk this side for the view. Okay, there. okay I'll follow you. Because I have no idea where to go here. Oh, wow. Let's see if I can get up here with my short little legs. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you climbed up there? Yes. That's where you go up. That? Uh, yeah. <laughs> On that rock. Okay. Good thing I'm not scared of heights. Yeah. But I am. On your max. Set. <laughs> go. Oh, thank you. Oh my god, this is scary. <laughs> oh. <sighs> wow. And here you really see just how incredible flat Botswana yeah, is. Yeah. I mean, Botswana is a thousand meters above sea level, mm -hmm. and this rises up to 1,400. I guess yeah. that would be the male, right? Yeah, yeah. That's the highest point. Mm -hmm. Do you know how this was created? This is a volcanic eruption. So the delta is this way, is that correct? It's that, it's way. that way, okay. Mm -hmm. So this is the way I came from on the road? Yeah, that's okay. the way you came from. Okay. Namibia, we come from this side. Like yes. Serbia. Yes. It, how far? Like 50 kilometers? 60? Oof, oof, oof. From here, yeah, it can be straight like this. It can be about 60. Yeah. So this is an elephant? Yeah, those huh. are the tracks for now. Oh my goodness. And we saw kudu tracks over there. So here we have elephant again. Yeah. This one. So they, 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 they were living up here. Not, not Homa. The Numa. Numa. Yeah. Numa. Numa, it's a village of the Kung. So here we have lots of elephant dung, and some is actually a little bit fresh. Yeah. How old do you think? A few days? Um, three days. And here the elephant took a rest. Mm. Huh. What a mess they make. <laughs> which Geometric are images, si circles. Yeah, right. which are images seen by shaman. When they have a cultural night, they would dance. So shaman 
automatically he goes into trance, then he start having visions of signs or images right that he can use in specific healing rituals or explain to people that what are their ancestors saying and all those images there'll be those circles with grids that are marked here so because of it was going that side yeah. it pushed it that side ah. yeah you see this it was pushed into here so <laughs> always the way it goes and, and those little flat yeah, parts that's from the snake. Yeah, yeah. So you say which snake was it? It's a juvenile python. It came from this side, then it turned here, then it came all the way here. It was going this side. We just stumbled into these drawings here. Yeah, it's a male thin box. Okay, and so a big giraffe. giraffe. Yeah, it, that's a house. Okay, house. Yeah made of grass and branches like around a uh, round devil and then we have a person here right we have a human oh very cool uh, and the two geometrics three men four four men yeah. four. what's your right your left ah over there okay yeah. so we have one there two yeah. three four okay and then this is something else yeah but then fading on oh my god what a view this is amazing. Female over there, female here, and then the male there in the middle. This is porcupine that was walking inside. You see there? Oh, you see the small paw prints. Okay, yeah. yes. Well, let me just go over here. So this is the small feet. Yeah. And then, the second and, and then you see the lines here from the. What do you call it? The, pill the spikes. The, yeah, the spikes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And this, and the small feet there. Which oh. are the nails? Yeah. And and you say that the leopards they manage to eat these porcupines. Yeah, they do. That's but unbelievable. They first kill it and peel it off, like taking the those spikes away. So here we have white painters. White painters. So yeah. That's Bantu. Yeah, Bantu. Made of egg white from the ostrich eggs, bone marrow, calcrete, and mixed with the threads of the animals. So this is what has been mixed into the white art. Right. As you see that the painters, they are painted in a hidden a spot where the, the, the rain would not splash them. Once you, you splash water on them, they go. We have cow, we have donkey there. Donkey? We have donkey there. <gasps> And we have a goat up here. So this is the domestic, yeah, domestic uh, animals. Yeah. So Bantu came all the way from Congo and Zambas regions down by Namibia right. till here with iron working tools and the domestic animals. That's why it's called Rhino Trail because of these big rhinos that we wow. see over here. Oh, are so you kidding me? Right behind the rhinos. We have a big rhino there and a little rhino. And then to the left of that, that's a buffalo. Yeah, and then below, an eland. An eland. We have a scorpion hole and then we have a tortoise track here. Hello, dung beetle. Is he pushing it backwards? Uh, yeah, huh. there, yeah. Look at that, his head is pointing down and he's pushing it with his back legs. Yeah. Mm. So here we have the mud from an elephant. So an elephant has been scratching his itchy stomach and then mud came off here. I'm laughing every time I see, you know, the road signs that are lying down yes. because I know it's caused by some elephant yeah, like, yeah. itch, itchy butt. Mm -hmm. Another sign has suffered the itchy butt of an elephant. The rhino horn, the wildebeest and the giraffe up there. That's a very cool giraffe. Yeah. It's commonly known as Makena's cave. Say it again. Makena. Makiana. Makiana's cave, yeah. Makiana's cave. So from the late Bantu group that came here, okay. there was a woman whose name is Makiana, Makiana who got here pregnant and she ended up giving birth in there. So this place, it's been a house of living for quite a while. Even the Bushmen, they used to camp here in brief periods during the winter season, during the rainy season. This is a temple to them. This is a house of prayer. So to them it's something very sacred where mm. they would come and pray. So this has been made by water that right. was dripping. Yeah. So they would go get mangongo mm -hmm. and hit the fruits 
I would say they would eat the flesh of the fruit and they hit the, the, the seed into these holes and get a nut that produces a very high protein content. Just like the marula, you know, the seed of marula, it has also the nut, yeah. but high in protein. Okay. Yeah. So they would be crushing them here. Yeah. Another one. It's beautiful. Mm. Yeah. It's like a temple. Place of worship. So you say in this area you have elephant, kudu, yeah. uh, steenbok, diker, leopard, brown hyena, brown hyena. Yeah. porcupine, porcupine. Um, do you have the oryx? oryx. Yeah. Or they, do visit. they do visit, not so often. And elan, not so much? Elan, they visit, they visit, but not so much. So now we're climbing up here. Okay, so seriously, I'm gonna go up there. That's the only difficult part. Okay, well, it's definitely difficult. <laughs> okay, so we're actually going up there. <laughs> this is a little bit more climbing than hiking, huh? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> somewhere to hold on let's see if you can do it one two Ouch. three no no don't push me <laughs> i need to do it in my own own, mm. own speed okay it's okay mm. <laughs> what have you oh my god all right thank you so you're gonna climb this rock like a horse Keep coming. I can't believe I climbed all the way up here. <laughs> that was scary. But it was really worth it because now we are so close to these very, very clear drawings, especially these over here. Just amazing. Look at the giraffe there. And then we have the eland and another big eland. And then you have the tiny hands. And obviously you're not allowed to touch any of this. Wow, where are you going? Oh, you're crazy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, okay, now do the jump. No. Oh. <laughs> like from here today? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> All right. And what do you call the green? Th th those are lichens. Lichens? Yeah, which is algae with fungus. Oh my goodness. Oh. I'm here, I'm not going. I'm here waiting for you to see how you're doing. <laughs> and I'm gonna crap my way down. Okay. Keep coming. This is scary. <laughs> I made it. That was hard. What we don't do for rock paintings, huh? High five. <laughs> that was a lame high five. Like oh. this. That was my fault. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> so what do we have here? We have a sable antelope, which is the first one. The first one is the sable. Uh, yeah. The second is the kudu. Okay. The third is the artfak, which is an uh, which is an the ant eater. Yeah, the ant eater. Okay. And then the fourth superimposed. Those are elands. Two elands. Yeah, two yeah. elands superimposed. Then down on the right is another eland. And the, there in the middle, that's a scorpion. Yeah. Below the scorpion is a rabbit. A rabbit. Then that side on the left, in the middle there, that's an eland with a calf. And next to the so white droppings. That's droppins, an eland with a calf. And next to the white droppings, that's the skin being stretched. Um, we have elands, mostly elands around here, just elands. All right. There's another one here, yeah. and it used to be more, but faded. Oh yeah, I this see. Wall, yeah. Oh wow. We have giraffes on the left, group of them. Yeah. Below the giraffes, there's a rabbit. Yeah. Below the rabbit, there's an eland, tasibi, and lastly the giraffe. And right in the middle, that's a rhino, and there's an eland, 
and a dirt drop that is standing upright. Then there's a crack that is coming down. Next to the crack on the right, that's a monkey with the arms. Oh, yeah. Below the monkey, those are female lions. So what is happening here is that they showed uh, the lions that they've been chasing giraffes. Then they managed to kill one of them, the one that is upright, which is um, it's laying on the ground after being killed. That thing you see on the stomach, that's blood that shows that it's been killed. Ah. And, be, and another thing is just that it's the same territory. Other animals, they can hear that there's a trouble there. Then they are standing surprised as you see that they are, they are wondering what is happening. Yeah. And look at the giraffes, they're looking at what is happening yeah. to one of them. Yeah. So that is um, the little story that the painters have for us. So this is the last one for the day? This is, we have a geometric circle, which we say that it's an image sent by a shaman when he goes into trance. So ancestors will be showing him the signs to use into specific healing rituals. Then down below, we have an eland giving birth, and we have two stin box, and we have the hyena there. So we have a giraffe and a tiny hand up, turned upside down, and the lines you see there, those lines show that they were using their human fingers to draw all these pictures. To do this paint, they were using their hands to put on the paint and do with a finger like this. Yeah. That's how they ended up doing this paint. But then we have a kudu calf, a great kudu, a jackal, and lastly a hyena. A hyena, this yeah. one? Yeah. So this was the eland, right? Yeah. Given and that. this was a geometric yeah. pattern? Yeah. And then here, it's a stem pack. This is a stem pack. It's hiding because it's uh, the head is imposed on there. Okay. Yeah. And this was the baby Elan being uh, born now. This one. Right. Yeah. And this is stem pack. What an amazing <laughs> walk here or climb or should I say it, it's a, it was rock a walk, climbing. Yeah. It was a walk. So I understand that uh, here you're not allowed to walk without a guide. Without a guide, yeah. So so Botswana is really trying to preserve these yes. things. Yeah, and also protect you as your guest. As your protect me as yeah. well, yeah. From the elephants. From I have a feeling everything in Africa wants to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> So this was the end of this wonderful rhino hike. Thank you very much. That was fantastic. I enjoyed it. Me. We I had enjoyed. a bit of a hike there or climb <laughs> rather. So I'm glad I'm still alive. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. I <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I had a lot of fun making it and uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in the next video.